Jeez. Stalk much? All right, welcome back to Kathy Rain. And we are going to try and get past all this uh, computer business. It's some advanced, <laughs> it's some advanced scanner thingy. <clears throat> scanner thingy. That's the official name. Um, I want to... Ex yeah, there we go. Okay. So, um, last time... Kathy got some software put on her um, computer and we're going to use said software to help us in our quest. Um, image analyzer to, oh, to solve what happened with dear old grandpa. Um, so I'm still not 100% uh, clear on um this has got to be some kind of <laughs> some kind of gammon like this is not a, this surely this is not a real thing um uh what does this do okay um surely this is not how um photo recovery actually works um, yes. Don't actually know what I'm doing. Let's see. Um. The walkthrough is not very helpful. It's just saying drag the things up and down until you get an automatic print. Like, okay. So I guess we try and go for what's clearest. Yeah, let's just try that. That's pretty clear. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, maybe it's just a very abstract photo anyway. I do... I don't remember what this is supposed to be a photo of. Alright, I think I'm going to... Oh, look, there's... I think that's the flower. That red thing is a flower. Ah! What is that? Ball lightning? Ball lightning. I'll print the whole uh, picture for now, but there's probably more to find. Yeah, ball lightning is crazy. If you Google ball lightning and look at the images, it's amazing. It's like these lightning forms, these just... Oh, I think I already printed it. Okay, pattern analysis. Oh, that uh, looks like a pattern. Oh. That shape has to be significant somehow. Um, you know something that um, uh, what's his name, David Polites? said Pol Politis oh god Pol I think it's Politis said that um straight lines rarely occur in nature that is just bs there are lots of straight <laughs> straight lines in nature just google it and you'll see all right one moment All right, hmm. so no, not quite yet. I think there's more to find in this picture. Um, all right. What else do we want to find? Was something about the flowers maybe? It's very Oop. A pattern found. Okay, let's see. Unusual um, flower over there though. Never seen anything like it. Maybe worth printing. Good idea, but I should probably zoom in all the way. Oh, I didn't know I could zoom more. All right. This is like when they zoom in on CCTV footage in film and TV and they're like, make that clearer. <laughs> it's like, dude, those are four pixels. Okay, you can't make I'm it clearer. Sure that's all there is to find in this picture. 
Um, unless it's some kind of super high res. Um, okay. Um, alright, so that's done. Now, um, voice forger. Now, like, last time I was looking at this, I didn't realise you could scroll across like this. So, um, show our wolves to Mr. Knight is basically... <gasps> I, I think I even remember the transcript from that, um, Gabriel Knight 2. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, internal error. <laughs> Herr Dr. Klingman. Oh. What the hell? Calm down, Kathy. Think. Just think. It has to be some sick joke left in the program by Dave. Yeah, that must be it. He is one twisted fuck. Creepy. <laughs> Ooh. Um, it was Herr Dr. Klingman. No, Thomas. Herr Dr. Klingman here. Show our wolves to Mr. Knight. Our wolves. Um, I can't. I can't write that with this. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank God. Um, I see you, Kathy. I see you, Kathy. Oh, what happens if you play I see you, Kathy? Creepy. Mm, okay. So, I have no idea what I'm supposed to write here. How would it, like, how, okay. Um, how about, um, um, Erica, it's... Joseph, um, uh, listen to Kathy. <laughs> I don't know. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. Uh, oh. I should let the recipient know who is speaking with this voice. I did. It's, it's, Je it's Joseph. Um, hang on. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. It's Joseph. It, I, 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 it's Joseph. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So how about? Uh, oh, it's alphabetical. The. Hello, Erica. It's me, Charles. Um, listen to what Kathy wants. Okay, let's see. Hello, Joseph. No, okay. What's this? What's this? I should probably ask Erica to do something specific for Kathy Rain. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. What is this? Blah, blah, blah. Picture. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Something to do with inventory. But I'll go back to that. Um, clear. Okay. Apparently, there's an achievement here. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Um, I think, no, Friends was definitely not around in 1995, so that is just some kind of grandfather paradox there. Okay, so I just looked it up. Apparently Friends did begin in 1994, but I have a distinct memory of watching it when it came to Australia, and I was with my friend Jasmine, Um, so that meant I would have been 10 or 11 and I googled it and yes, Friends did not come to Australian screens until 1996. So technically both me and the game creator are both correct. Um, okay. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So I was close. Apparently the solution is, hello, Erica. It's your father, of course. Um... Call Kathy. Kathy. Rain. Alright. Almost. Just a few more tweaks. 
Are you doing it yourself? Okay. Why don't you just do it yourself from that the beginning? Work. Give her what she wants. <laughs> um, no, I think this is an old, old lady. So, isn't it? I'll just reuse the same it's, tape it's and place daughter. the modified message at the end. Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. Mm. All right. All right. The forged message should now be at the end of the original tape. Okay, I hope I don't have to light it up properly. Okay, so that's that done. I think I'm done with the computer. Um, and I am going to. Oh yeah, the, the brochure. brochure. The brochure. The logo stands out, but other than that, it's just the usual church mumbo jumbo. Washing away your sins, salvation, blah blah. There's also an address at the bottom. You know, if I ever feel like getting my god on. Huh. <laughs> Good old Satan. Better get his snowmobile ready for that day. Alright, um... Oh. I'm having a hard time. I am too. No, I gotta go to the printer. Get the... The flower. I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. Um, it's a bright red flower of some kind. Could be a long shot, but I've never seen a flower like that. Maybe finding out more about where it grows could narrow down where the picture was taken. Mm, here we go. Wow, the church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights. I might have to visit them after all. Oh, hello, Elaine. Hello there, Mildred. <laughs> Hi yourself, Agatha. Oh. What, how'd you... Oh, never mind. I know your social security number, too. Jeez. Oh, God. Stalk start much? start stealing my clothes and then walk around and then pretending to be me. Who says I haven't done that already? Elaine. Okay, it's a little creepy. that's pretty funny. So, anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill out, -y. It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why'd you want to steal his password? It's a long story. Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will-o'-the-wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now, that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. <laughs> Meadow. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. Isn't it your Christian duty to consider people like her to be heathens? Oh, I doubt she could ever be more of a heathen than you are. Huh. I guess you've got a point. So, anyway... Is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. <laughs> I meant with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken. I know exactly where to start. Oh, and yeah, feel free to keep using my computer. I don't need it right now. All right, I think I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to motivate Erica Wade to talk to me. Okie dokie. Um, all right. So we can talk to her, but all right. See so if she has anything interesting to say. Hey, E, got a sec? Sure thing, Kathy. What's up? Uh, okay. I actually don't think that any of this is going to be useful. Um. So I bye bye. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. So. I wonder if it's a crime to impersonate someone. Not a big fan of that idea. You're not? I am. Okay, what does it say? Blah, blah, blah. Wade residence. 
lady of the house speaking. Cameron. Cameron. You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hello, Erica. Oh, thank if God it was friend, already lined up. <laughs> call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. Bye. She just happens to call afterwards. What do you want, Erica? Erica Wade. Leave a I mean, after the beep. Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Erica. This is Kathy Rain. I spoke to your father. He asked me to get in touch with you and said he would call ahead. Two seconds you ago. Reach me at five 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 eight three five two. Bye. Your move, Erica. Now that's some out of the box thinking. Yep, just might be silly enough to work. Well, time for a break. Gotta eat something before I pass out. Okie dokie. I'll stay here and keep digging. Alright, see you in a bit. What is she digging into? Did I give her an assignment? I don't think I did. Hey. Hey. So, any progress with the search? Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. Um, it's called the red sight. Don't remember talking Rosie to you about Falcons. the flower, but all right. I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in '89. The red sight is on their list of endangered plants. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's something. I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. My thoughts exactly. Here you go. The nature oh. reserve is marked out on this map. I think there was like she a time skip been. before Let's where see. I must have like talked well, to her you know, about everything. Beats homework. Eh. Amen to that. And uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help. So what? Oh, hang on. I'll go get that. Okie dokie. See, quickly. <laughs> Jesus, Hello? pick it up. This is Erica Wade calling for Kathy Rain. Speaking. Miss Rain, uh, this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. Rob it in, jeez. You can start by her help. Very well. Um, okay. Talk to her about everything. Do you know huh? anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? Not really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed father. It did? Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. But in the end, it never happened. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pod. <laughs> Always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became the uncle I never had. He was around a lot when father went out on business trips. Later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Oh, no matter, you were so little then. Erica, I have to ask. Why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when I tried to reach out? Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with Father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Father just couldn't bear seeing him like that. Neither alive nor dead. What do you know about Lily Myers? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. But other than that, not much. We never knew the family. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. Father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by that name. What can you tell me about Mr. Wade? My father is a great man. He has so many 
ideas, so much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? The illness and everything, of course. Right. Yeah, it must be hard. Oh, yes, indeed. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. The community clinic in the middle of town? Yes. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. I couldn't understand why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that or... Or he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. Yeah, they seem like a typical church to me. Uh, I think that's everything. Okay, that's all I needed. Very well. Feel free to call back if you have any more questions. All right. Wade is in Conwell Springs. He's being treated in the clinic. That was Erica Wade. Her father is being treated at the clinic in Conwell Springs. Being treated? I like He's this foreground. Looks that way. Small miracle things. they managed to keep it out of the press. Yeah, I suppose you are returning to talk to him? It'll have to be tomorrow. It's quite late for that now. I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're so on. I will crush you. Their faces are so pixely. I think they did a better job of their faces. You're off your game today. Is Ooh, everything all right? Is this new? Oh, shut up. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Oh, up late? Thinking about your grandpa and everything? Not just that. I keep having this bad dream. Well... It's not exactly a dream. It's something that actually happened. Oh? What is it? I'm not sure I should tell you. You can trust me. Well, she is Whatever a big Christian. It is, I promise I won't judge. Well, it's your funeral. So, uh, I used to be 16 and also pregnant. Oh, no. I broke it. Um, please go on. Well, seeing as how I don't actually have a five-year-old, you can probably put two and two together. You had an abortion. Sure did. Major pain in the ass, too, but... Hey, couldn't let that pregnancy go untreated. Oh. I'm... So she's 21. you're telling me, but... I really wish you hadn't done that, Kathy. Um. Who was the, um, you know, the... You didn't even know her then. Also, like, I'm not a hu I think women should be able to get abortions. I'm not a huge fan of the idea of getting abortions, but seriously, Eileen, first of all, you didn't know her. Second of all, you don't have to raise the child. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's not get too political. Um, she's 16. 16 year olds make mistakes. Uh, let's see. Oh, jeez, Kathy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> guy who knocked me up. Single motherhood waiting to happen. Back then, I couldn't cook anything but microwave food, and I'd wretch if I so much as walked past one trash can with smelly diapers in it. That kid would have been raised by my mother. Mm. I'd rather die than put another child through that. I respect your decision, but you know how I feel about this. That guy up there, he's pro-life. And I'm with I mean, him. I guess she could have given him up for adoption, but... 
I gotta say, you're being really cool about this, E. I was expecting you to clutch your cross, flip the table, and storm off or something. I'm not a walking stereotype, you know. It's just a really difficult Says situation. The nerd with the Let's leave it at that. <laughs> ha ha. But Kathy, if you keep having that nightmare, perhaps you should talk to somebody about it. Maybe. But I doubt obsessing over it is very healthy either. Your turn, E. Oh, fine. <gasps> oh. Mm. Is the boy in the graveyard, like, her son? Oh, I play apricot, orange. That's creepy Yay, if that's bingo. right. 67 points. Well, ain't that fucking peachy. At least it's not sour grapes. <laughs> Touche. Oh, that just makes the whole thing really sad. If that's, because I was like, oh, it looks like it could be her brother. What if it was her son? A tainted one approaches. Is it time? Yes, a fire that burns so bright, it is almost unbearable to see. I don't remember any of this. Indeed. It seems the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Shall we sculpt some flesh friends then? Very well. I will attend to the threshold. Good morning, sunshine. Please tell me I dreamt all those Scrabble losses last night. Three times in a row. Rub it in, why don't you? Just Kathy, you're so I'll hardcore Scrabble. <laughs> oh, you. Don't be a sore loser. So what's the plan today? Mr. Wade is the plan. I'll head for the clinic right away. While I'm at it, I'm going to check out the church and the nature reserve. Okie dokie. What can I do to help? Why don't you continue looking into the lights? I have a feeling they're the key to solving all of this. You could also look up the history of Conwell Springs in general, see if anything unusual has been going on. I'll get right on it. Great. Thanks, E. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out the page I gave you about the red scythe. It's a pretty interesting flower. Right. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Is this 1995, right? Why is there that is to me looks like a Titanic poster. That movie's not out yet. It's a okay. promo poster Eileen got. For I was going extra. to say. I was going she tells to say. Everyone who walks in here the same joke. Spoiler alert: the boat sinks. I distinctly I'm remember. Right here, you know. Oops. Titanic forgot. came out the end of the year. We saw me and my my family and I saw it right before we moved to Sydney, and that was. 1990. Hang on. It's in years. So, did you really have a promo posted two years in advance? I don't know. I don't know. But it's possible. It's within the realm of possibility. All right. Let's. Um, wow. What an episode. Um, let's leave it there. And um, we'll come back for uh, part eight next time and uh, see what old Wade, old Charlie has to say for himself at the clinic. All right. See you guys later.